Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the BravaJet M6. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here is the box that comes in. I robot, BravaJet, robot mop. M6. And this model here includes some supplies from Bona. No. Uh, so if we turn to the back of the box. See, we got, you know, works with um, iOS and Android. It's Wi-Fi connected. And then here at the bottom, they tell us what's in it. Uh, robot mop, home base charging station, line cord, cleaning starter kit, two wet mopping pads, two dry sweeping pads, one Bona Power Plus microfiber deep cleaning pad, one Bona hard surface floor cleaner, one Bona hardwood floor cleaner concentrate, two full ounces. Okay, two full ounces each of those. Okay, I think that's gonna have to work. Alright, you can see once you open it, there's your robot right on top. Your base station. And you got the box here. Kind of can see. Yep. So power cord. This is that microfiber cloth they was talking about. Wet pads. Single use dry sweeping pad. It says on the back, single use dry sweeping pad. Two of those. And then single use wet mopping pad. Two of those. And then, oh, can you wash this? Mm hmm, looks like it. Thank you. They want you to replace it every time. Try for you. Mm. And then we got our sample, sample size hard surface floor cleaner, and then the hard wood floor cleaner. Now, just FYI, I was in Walmart a couple days ago, and I checked to see if they had um, these. They do. They have the bottles. Um, that you can buy. I'm sure they sell it like Target and stuff like that. I just checked in Walmart because that's usually where I do my shopping for this kind of stuff. So they have they have both of these there. So it'll be easy to refill. So here's your moppy mop. Let's see. Camera. Um, or what is that? Water dispenser? Cleaner dispenser? Who knows? Okay, little button here on the front, little water drop. This is where you put stuff, home, something, um, clean. So we'll see, turn it around so y'all can see the underside. So here's the wheels and that. robot sits on top of so like if the pads are wet then you don't have the wet pad sitting directly on the floor and then you got your paperwork per usual getting started guide safety guide and your warranty info Get this stuff out of my way. 
getting started, God. See, get ready. To start, you'll need your robot, a cleaning pad, charging station, drip tray, and power cord. Position the charging station. Place charging station near an outlet in the area with good Wi-Fi coverage. Okay, so needs to have at least, needs to be at least four feet away from any stairs, one and a half feet away from any objects, and then four feet in front of it. So we're gonna try to make that work. So for now, I'm gonna put it over there, just next to this chair here. I might end up moving it, but for the purposes of the video, we're just gonna put it right there. Okay, all right. And then plug in the charging station. Attach the drip tray and wake up your robot. All right, so I think for this part, I need to move y'all so y'all can see. All right. So we'll set up here. So getting started guide. Plug in the charging station. Get our charging station. like this so see on the back just so y'all can see see on the back you plug it in here and then you can run the cord so you can run the cord like around this way or you can run it down this way I really really like that helps a lot for cord management I have a Roomba 960 that's the the robot vacuum and I that um, base station doesn't have this nifty little cord management thing. So we already starting off on the good So let's see. our base station now attach the drip tray okay it just sits right there sits right there okay then wake up See that? See the light? Yes, you can. All right. Now, connect and update. Scan the code with the camera on your mobile device. Or find the Robot Home app. Follow the quick steps to complete setup. All right. Open that. All right. So I am here in the iRobot app. You can see that I already have Mr. Kaplan in there. Mr. Kaplan is what I named the Roomba 960. If you don't know who Mr. Kaplan is, she is a character 
on the blacklist or was her character was killed off a few seasons ago but <laughs> but mr kaplan her name's kate she was red's cleaner meaning she would come and clean up after he murdered someone so <laughs> or killed someone however you want to classify his activities so yeah i named the Roomba 960 after her um so let's see is there a add add a robot Bravo Jet M series you'll need your charging station your robot and your Wi-Fi password yep is this the network you want your robot to connect to yes Activate. Press and hold spot and home button for two seconds. You will hear a sound. I pressed it. Now, let me see this is, oh, I was gonna say it's taking a little while. It does that, that's normal. I'm sure y'all can hear the noises. And your robot is successfully connected. Your robot is fully set up and ready to go. Press clean to get to work. Continue. Name your robot. Now, like I said, the Roomba 960 is named Mr. Kaplan. So I'm gonna name this one Charlie. If you watch the John Wick movies, you know who Charlie is. <laughs> Notice a theme here. Charlie is the guy who leads the cleaners in the John Wick movies. You know, the people who come and clean up after someone has done business. Yes. Welcome to the world, Charlie. Learn the basics about what Charlie can do. Mm. Charlie is a BravaJet M6 series. Charlie has two different cleaning modes, dry sweeping, dry mopping. The pad type you install will let Charlie know which mode to clean in. I see. So those are not reusable. Mm. We're gonna have to look online and see if we can find something a little cheaper. Charlie cleans in systematic rows across the center of rooms and the edges mm -hmm. yeah uh, that's what I'm saying like this y'all know I got my peloton in here um so I'm want to see if Charlie's gonna avoid mopping the peloton mat <laughs> we'll see yep Charlie will return home to recharge yep Use the app for full control over how and when Charlie cleans. Yippers. Charlie will learn and create an interactive smart mop. No need to worry if you rearrange furniture. Charlie will adapt to the change. Yep. While you wait, prep your home for Charlie. Pick up cables, cords, and toys so Charlie won't get tangled or stuck. Okay, and as you can see, good. Unable to start, attach a pad. All right, so we got Charlie all set up in the app. And attach a cleaning pad. Slide a wet mopping or dry sweeping pad onto the underside of the robot. All right, so we wanna use the microfiber cleaning cloth or we're gonna use one of these single use wet mopping pads let's start with that and 
attach a cleaning pad. And then, okay. So let's take Charlie off the base here. Yeah, I think y'all can see. And then we just slide the pad of choice. See, you got this little thing on it. And slide that in. The little slot thingy. Bam. There you go. Charlie is outfitted with a wet mopping pad. Okay. Um, and then we remove the tank. Open the lid and lift the handle to remove the tank from the robot. <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all see that? This, did y'all see? Get up close so y'all can see it. Okay. So see the little strip, hit this little handle, it opens, and then you pull this handle, little tray come right on out. All right, step seven, remove the tank. We have it. Step eight, fill the tank. Add one of the included concentrate packs of Bona hard, hardwood or hard surface, then fill the tank with water. So in my house, I have tile, and luxury vinyl plank so i'm going to use the hard surface floor cleaner you see on the pack stone tile laminate vinyl and luxury vinyl tile so i want to put this in there so to open it up twist that off Get your little floor cleaner. Wait, let to see, where do you, does this tell you where to fill it up to? Fill, fill to the top with water. Okay. See, cleaning solution on the reverse for information on pre-mixed options. Okay. So, if you have a pre-mixed option, then you go with that. But we ain't, we ain't got no pre-mixed option. So this is concentrate, so it has to be diluted. I totally screwed up opening this this pack. That's okay. We're gonna do this. Yeah. Alright, so that's all in there. A hard surface concentrate. And then we're gonna fill it up to the top with water it doesn't say hot or cold water so we're gonna do hot we're using it to clean the floor so you want to fill it up to the top but we don't want it overflowing okay Y'all can't see this, but the top actually does fit in a certain way. You can't just sit it in. There you go. Okay, so make sure it's nice and tight, the seal. All right, so we're all set up. We got our cleaning pad on there. We got the cleaning solution and water in the tank. We are ready to go. So I got y'all positioned up here because I want to see what happens, you know, when you first turn it on. So, Charlie. So on the Charlie tab, I just want to see. You hit Mr. Kaplan. It's Kaplan's ready to vacuum. And then Charlie. So, Charlie. We are going to do 
mop everywhere because I have no history or no messages. Charlie is brand new out the box, so Charlie ain't got nothing for me. As you can see, Charlie is not 100% full out of the box, but that's okay. Uh, so we're going to do mop everywhere. Hello Roomba 960, y'all see it underneath the TV console. So, Mr. Kaplan, meet Charlie. And y'all see this little streak right here. So the Bravo M6 spits out the fluid and then vacuums over it. Backs up. That little noise right there, spitting out the fluid and then vacuums. I just mopped for real three days ago. So. Okay, it's making its way back to where it started. Keep in mind, this is Charlie's first time out the gate. Once he get a little bit more acclimated to my home, he you know builds his little map. Hmm. He'll be this little show shouldn't be going on. Charlie's figuring it out. See that? And more liquid. <laughs> and the gold Peloton mat again. I'm happy to report that Charlie fits underneath the coffee table. Very nice. As you can see, Charlie is making very tight lines. More fluid. Now, in a real world setting, I would run Mr. Kaplan first. Again, Mr. Kaplan is a Roomba 960. So, these are both iRobot products, but Mr. Kaplan is not a model that that um, goes, you know, hand in hand with the M6. I believe you have to have an i series 
or higher for them to talk to each other meaning you can set it that when when the uh, vacuum stops it'll automatically trigger the mop to start running the 960 doesn't do that but um that's okay i got it a few years ago it still runs great it still does the job um so yeah so i'll just do um in a real world setting when i'm not testing for a video i'll run mr kaplan first and then run charlie So here are my first thoughts on the BravaJet M6. Overall, I am very happy with this product. It's a great companion to my Roomba 960. Charlie did get significantly better with each run, and that was because it was refining the map that it's made of my house. Charlie cleans very well, it's quiet, and the cleaning fluid lasts a while, meaning I can run it a few times before I have to refill the tank. The one con I have so far is that it does not go over the thresholds in my house. The Roomba 960, Mr. Kaplan, does go over those thresholds very easily. So in that regard, Charlie is not as good as the robot vac. That being said, Charlie does a chore that I absolutely hate. So we are going to stick with it. So that is my setup and unboxing of the BravaJet M6. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.